Waddle, great strike by Tungabai Lowen. Pressure coming. Intercepted in the end zone. Welcome to Dolphins Today from the Baptist Health Studios here in Miami Gardens. I'm Kimberly Bell, a.k.a. Kimmy B. Now, we have a lot to get to today, Dolphins. We're inching closer to the 2022 season, and voluntary veteran minicamp is now in the rearview mirror. But no worries. We got you. Here's everything you need to see from an energetic couple of days out here on the practice field. Funniest guy on the team. It might be me. Everybody know who that is. Four five. Me. I think it's you. Nah. It's probably E Rob. Javon? Javon? Funny? I got some names in mind, but I don't want to gas them up too much. You know what I mean? Okay, fellas, we see you putting in that work. Now, here are the next steps as the offseason rolls on. The team will transition into phase two, which will consist of more on field drills than phase one, but still no live contact will be permitted. OTA offseason workouts will begin May 16th with mandatory minicamp starting on June 1st. Now, shortly after the conclusion of this week's voluntary camp, quarterback Tua Tungabailoa spoke about his new teammates and, of course, preparing for the upcoming season. Yeah, just the locker room feels different. Um, and we're all excited. You know, this is the first time I've seen, you know, a lot of, you know, guys show up to phase one of OTAs and a lot of veterans are showing up to it. You know, I, I think that speaks a lot to, uh, you know, Mike and the relationship that he has with a lot of the guys on the team um, and the amount of respect that he, he has from uh, the players in the locker room. You know, I don't feel more pressured that we have acquired all these guys, um, but it's more of an opportunity that, I get that we all get as as a team uh, to show what we can do this year. And now the team will look ahead to the NFL draft in Las Vegas on Wednesday. General Manager Chris Greer also spoke to the media after what's been a very busy offseason for the Dolphins. Let's check out what Greer had to say about taking every draft seriously. Enjoy. I think when you have those few picks as we do, I think you got to be right on them. And so I think you got to be very uh, deliberate and measured of, of what the roster and what that guy's role on the roster is going to be and how he fits. So um, obviously there'll be an occasion where if that special guy is there to take that risk on something, you will. But I think when, you know, you're picking third, fourth round and then two in the seventh, it's you got to kind of make sure what you're getting and who it is and how he's going to fit on the team. Now, you know, we like to spice things up, throw in a little non-football related fun and the inaugural Formula One Miami Grand Prix is quickly approaching. In fact, just two and a half weeks to go until lights out on May 8th. Did you know we have a couple of racing fans on the team? That's right. Cornerback Byron Jones actually races cars in the offseason. So when Red Bull Racing driver Sergio Perez needed some directions to Hard Rock Stadium, luckily Byron was there to point him in the right direction. And then Andrew Van Ginkle greeted him once he found his way. What the hey, I'm in a rush. How do I get to the Hard Rock Stadium? You're trying to get to the Miami GP, huh? Well, you're going the wrong direction. You want to turn around here and go back that way. All right? Gracias. Good luck, man. And one last thing before we let you go, check out how much being a part of the Dolphins means to punter Thomas Morstead. After being given his number four jersey, Morstead jumped on Twitter saying wearing jersey number four as a Miami Dolphin is a big deal. I love the history of our game. Reggie Roby was a pioneer of the punting position in a number of ways, and I hope to continue his tradition of professional excellence.
Well, that's all we got for this edition of Dolphins today. As always, we appreciate you tuning in. Make sure to keep an eye on all Dolphins social media channels over the weekend, and we'll see you soon.